Konnichiwa minasan. Hello friends, how are you? Welcome to Saral Japani YouTube channel and this is the playlist called Japanese Extra Shots. Today's topic is the origin and meaning of karate. Friends, before we begin, may I request you to subscribe my YouTube channel. This will notify you whenever I upload the next video. You may subscribe by hitting the subscribe button if you are watching this on YouTube or by typing out the URL youtube.com slash at Saral Japani. That is S-A-R-A-L-J-A-P-A-N-I if you are watching it in a Facebook post. For all previous videos, visit the playlist section of this channel and click on below playlist Japanese extra shots and you will get the list of all the previous seven extra shots that we have covered so far. OK, so let's begin today's video. Today our topic is the origin and meaning of karate and for your information it is karate. Friends, we all know and have heard about karate, the popular martial art since our childhood, isn't it? Karate is now predominantly a striking art using punching, kicking, knee strikes, elbow strikes, and open hand techniques such as knife hands, spear hands, and palm heel strikes. But do we really know the meaning of the word karate? Do we know how the word originated and what is its relation to Japanese and how is it pronounced? This video is all about this. Karate is pronounced as karate. So it's not karate as the whole world pronounces it. It's actually karate in Japanese. And this is the actual pronunciation of the word and not karate that usually people pronounce. Karate is a martial art developed in Ryukyu Kingdom. The Ryukyu Kingdom was a kingdom in the Ryukyu Islands from 1429 to 1879. It was ruled as a tributary state of Imperial Ming China by the Ryukyuan monarchy, who unified Okinawa Island to end the Sanzan period and extended the kingdom to the Amami Islands and Sakishima Islands. The Ryukyu Kingdom played a central role in the maritime trade networks of medieval East Asia and Southeast Asia despite its small size. Karate developed from the indigenous Ryukyuan martial arts under the influence of Chinese martial arts, particularly Fujian White Crane. Now, what's Fujian White Crane? Fujian White Crane is a southern Chinese martial art that originated in Yongchun County in Fujian province of China. According to oral tradition, the style was developed by Fang Qinyang, a female martial artist. It is associated with traditional fighting techniques, including long range, but is most similar to close quarter or hand-to-hand -hand combat. It is most recognizable by the way the fighter imitates a bird's pecking or flapping of wings. And from there, the name White Crane comes into play. The Empire of Japan annexed the Ryukyu Kingdom in 1879, and thus karate came to mainland Japan in the early 20th century during a time of migration as Ryukyuans, especially from Okinawa, looked for work in the main islands of Japan. Thus, they brought karate with them. It was systematically taught in Japan. That is, karate was systematically taught in Japan after the Taisho era that lasted between 1912 and 1926. So the original Chinese word was like this, karate. It was pronounced as karate, meaning the Chinese hand. So friends, if you see here, this kanji symbol, this is for the Chinese Tang Dynasty. So this is the symbol for the Tang Dynasty of China, and this is the symbol for hand. So there are two kanji symbols. One is for the Tang Dynasty and one is the hand. So this means the hand of the Tang Dynasty of China. The original use of the word karate in print is attributed to Anko Itso. Anko Itos, he wrote it as karate. So 
the pronunciation of this Tang dynasty symbol is Kara, and this is Te as hand. The Tang dynasty of China ended in AD 907, but the kanji representing it remained in use in Japanese language. Thus, the word karate was originally a way of expressing martial art from the Chinese Tang dynasty. In the era of escalating Japanese militarism, from late 1920s to almost the World War II, the name was changed from this Chinese hand karate to empty hand karate. So this was Chinese, this is in Japan both of which are pronounced the same, that is karate, to indicate that the Japanese wished to develop the combat form in Japanese style. The change to Japanese karate was done by, maintain, by maintaining a homophone. A homophone is a word that is pronounced the same to certain varying extent as another word, but differs in meaning. So you can see here the symbol earlier was this, which was pronounced as kara. And when Japanese changed this to this symbol, it is also pronounced as kara, but the meaning is different. Here, the meaning is the Chinese Tang dynasty, and here the meaning is empty. So empty hand, Chinese hand became empty hand in Japanese. So this is what is represented here. The Chinese hand became the empty hand. So in the Japanese version of this word, kara means empty. Friends, if you remember in our kanji lesson that had this kanji character, we had discussed that this character not only represented emptiness or void or vacuum, but it also represented sky. And it was, and it's pronounced as sora when it is used as sky, sora. So, this kara and sora both are used, both are kunyomi pronunciations of this kanji character. And when it is used as kara, it represents emptiness. And te is again hand, and te has remained the same as was in China, and it has remained the same in Japanese. So this clearly means that te is an onyomi pronunciation. So kara is a kunyomi pronunciation, while te is Onyomi. Kara has multiple meanings. The most common one is from. So you might remember kara means from, made means to. So when we say nanji kara nanji made means from what time to what time. So in that case, kara is used to represent from. But here, kara is used as empty hand. So multiple meanings of the same pronunciation. So, karate, what does it mean then? Karate, empty hand. That means karate is a game, a sport, or a fight that is played or fought using empty hands. So, this is what this word karate means and how it has originated from the initial Chinese word to the modern Japanese word that we have seen in this video. So friends, that's all about the origin and meaning of the word karate. And this was the topic of discussion for today's extra shot. Hope you have liked this video. Thanks for watching. And till we meet again, mata imasho.